Hello, everyone, and welcome to Data Protection Conversations. I'm joined today by Chris Cummings. Chris, how are you doing? Great to be here, Christoph. I'm doing great. So, Chris, uh, you are focused on go to market at Falcon Store. Uh, well, we've we know the name. We've heard it uh, through the years in the data protection space. Tell us about the new Falcon Store. Right. So Falcon Store is definitely one of those names that has been around uh, in the data protection uh, landscape for quite some time. And we're really taking our core technology and transforming that for this hybrid cloud world that all of our customers are moving to and that, you know, our channel partners and MSPs are moving to. Look, you've been in business for many years. You have um, a set of technologies that uh, you have used with end users um, and our MSPs. How do you pivot? What are you doing uh, to help execute on your strategy? Right. So, you know, this has always been a company that's had a best in class target for uh, a universal backup target for all kinds of different applications uh, coming in using uh, some of the best deduplications. And we're really just taking the core replication technology that we've had and using that to move that to a different location. Now, our enterprise customers in the past would have moved that to a second data center, but increasingly everyone's moving that to a cloud and it can be a public cloud like an Amazon or an Azure or an IBM, or for the case of MSPs, many of them have their own clouds. And so moving that secondary copy to their own cloud is where they're going. Either way, customers get the hybrid cloud experience they're looking for. So that's really just taking these hidden gems and using them in a new way. Well, so I'd like to double click a little bit on the um, MSP uh, part of the equation here and specifically what sets you apart. What are you doing for MSPs uh, that makes you such a great solution for that? So I think the thing that's consistent about MSPs is just the need to deal with the hairball that their customers have on premise, right? They've got this application, these servers, this storage, uh, you know, it, it's, it's an endless gamut. And because of the company's history, chances are we're certified with that stuff. And also be able to give them flexibility for what, picking whatever cloud they want, whether that's a public cloud or their own private cloud, which many of our MSP customers are doing. Fundamentally though, it also made us look back and see what we were doing on the pricing side of things. We said, let's just make it one fixed price per customer tenant so that these MSPs could look across their landscape and understand what the economics would look like. But these MSPs are also dealing with efficiency. They can't just be a replacement for these on-premise bodies and do things the same way that these enterprises were doing. Otherwise you get no economies of scale. We've got to enable these folks to be able to deal with this large customer volume and do so efficiently. And then finally, because we're software defined, it enables these MSPs to scale in a fundamentally different way. And because we're so focused on the efficiency of the environment and making sure that they can customize their SLAs, they can do so without throwing lots more bodies at the equation. So it makes for both a good technical solution and a good business proposition for these MSPs. And then the last thing is obviously security. And that's where our end-to-end -end encryption comes in, and the ability to retain information for the long-term and make it immutable so that you can't blow away uh, this information. That's critical. What is your view on ransomware? And what are you doing specifically with your platform for MSPs around ransomware? Right. So ransomware, as you know, is the topic of the day. These MSPs are, are confronting the ransomware problem for their customers in a couple of ways using our technology. One is that you know, they have this on-premise environment that they've been able to create for larger customers, and then they replicate that to a second site. So here's a real-time uh, one that came in, unfortunately, for one of our, our customers over the weekend. They were hit with a piece of ransomware that lay dormant in their on-premise backup environment. They wake up to find that that information has been blown away by that ransomware. But because they had already been able to replicate this information to an off-premise location that had not been affected, they were able to select the different backup that they wanted to bring back and they were back up and running quickly. And so this is the type of capability that MSPs are looking for. And one thing about our technology that's nice is you can dial it down to the level of granularity that you want. And so in this case, they were able to look and say, okay, well, that uh, last backup happened within the last hour, let's use that. For some MSPs, it could have been down to the 
sort of 10 milliseconds level of granularity that our technology provides. But either way, the foundation was in place to recover. Well, it's great to hear a success story when it comes to ransomware uh, recoveries. That's all we have um, time for today. Thank you so much, Chris, for uh, telling us about where Falcon Store is and uh, the great things you do now with your MSP network uh, and the great solutions that you have in place uh, to support not only ransomware preparedness, but in general efficiency and service level agreements around data protection. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Thank you Christoph. We're excited about the future with our MSP partners.